If you look way up that street, you can see it, that green, that's Mont Royal. That's the actual mountain that overlooks the city. See the hill there in the distance? So I'm now on Peel Street, and apparently, if I walk down this street, there should be stairs that go all the way up the hill. If you are a huge fan of the city views, I'd say go to Mont Royal's viewpoint. Montreal is actually named for Mount Royal, Royal Mount. It's not a whole lot of a mountain. Some would perhaps even call it a bit of a big hill, but for us here in Montreal, this is one of our proud things, part of the city, our Mount Royal. Mount Royal contains two main lookout points, the more prominent of which is the Condiarong Belvedere, a semi-circular plaza with a large chalet overlooking downtown Montreal, which attracts millions of tourists every year. We were on the top of the whole city, it's called Mount Royal, where we could actually see all of Montreal. It's one of the most beautiful places on Earth. How it is. Literally every single person that I've talked to is like, you have to go there, so we're going. Day two in Montreal. We're about to walk up Mount Royal, check out this lookout spot. Yeah, not easy. We have to walk all the way up. Can you even see how massive this hill is? We are finally starting our hike. Mount Royal. It looks beautiful so far, and I love the fact that there is a big hill, tiny mountain in the middle of the city. It's very cool. It's gorgeous. Are we in Narnia? It's close. Kind of cool, huh? Super cool. It's beautiful. Will you take a picture of me? Sure. Okay, I'm at the foot of the steps. This is where the real fun starts. Right off the main road, you've got the stairs. 275 steps, right to the top. It's a great workout. I like this, this is a good cardio. She told me it's halfway. As you can see that it keeps going up and up. Oh my God, it just keeps going. Woo, look how far we've come. I can kind of see the city up there. Almost there. There's supposed to be a really good view. There better be a good view. We've come here for the Which super nice view, basically. Everyone said it was a really nice view. Try and look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. As I see the lookout, you guys. Oh, oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Wow. This is so pretty. Wow. Wow. What a beautiful view. Afton says before undertaking to do the city, one should view it from the mountain to get a proper realization of the magnificence of the city's island throne. On October 2nd, 1535, wow. Jacques Cartier, Ooh. discoverer of Canada, climbed this mountain under the guidance of the Indians of the village of Ochalaga. And impressed with the beauty of the landscape, he gave it the name of Mount Royal, from which the city of Montreal took its name. The Condiarank Belvedere, built in 1906, it is named for the Petain chief Condiarank, whose influence led to the Great Peace of Montreal in 1701. Noted as a brilliant orator and strategist, he pushed for peace among the French, Iroquois, and indigenous tribes of the Great Lakes region, ending the Beaver Wars and opening up the interior of North America to deeper French exploration, beginning with the founding of Detroit in 1701 and reaching the Gulf of Mexico by 1718 with the founding of New Orleans. A highly symbolic treaty, it established the Tree of Peace among all the Great Lakes nations, making it a unique diplomatic event in the history of both North and South America. The treaty is still considered valid by the indigenous people of the First Nations tribes involved. The Royal Mountain, Le Mont Real, was named after the French King Francis I. And today, with all its skyscrapers nearly 500 years later, it remains a symbol of the pride and the success of French Canada. So we couldn't see any of the views while we were hiking up here, but once you get onto this path, it opens up and you can see all of Montreal, all the way to the St. Lawrence River there. It was absolutely amazing and beautiful. We made it to the top? We made it to the top. We made it to the very top. <gasps> it's not a bad view. Not a bad view, definitely worth all of the walking. Oh my days. This is beautiful. Beautiful. So pretty. Love you, Montreal. On clear days, the vista stretches all the way to the Adirondack Mountains in New York. It's really nice up here. This is like not what I was expecting at all. Just look at it, man. This very much reminds me of the day I went up Checkerboard Hill in Hong Kong. I love those mountains in the back. Honestly, I live for those mountains. 
Whoa, the top of Montreal is sexy, bro. Guys, this is one of the best views I've ever seen. Ah, life, life is just amazing, you know? You know? Now, on this trip around the world, we have seen many amazing lookouts like the Silica in Budapest or even going all the way up to the top of the Eiffel Tower. But I have to say, this one is just as good, if not better. It's just so amazing to look out and see. And best of all, it's free. Look at this view. Wow. Free that view. Oh my God. So pretty. Literally one of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen. Stood in the most beautiful place possibly in the world. This is just glorious. Wow, how gorgeous, huh? Unbelievable. We're standing Mount, on top of, of Mount, Mount Royal, Royal, right? Which is where the name comes from, Montreal. Montreal. Absolutely. And look at there's tons to do. Hold on, where are we going to start? I, you know what? We could do. I kind of want to walk the cobblestone streets in old Montreal. So or go visit the, the fantastic houses that are in the Square Saint Louis. Yeah. Right. The church where Celine Dion was oh, married. The Notre Dame Basilica. Basilica. But how do we get there? I have no where idea, but somebody's got to know. Someone. Do you see that right there? The guy? Al Capone? Yeah, yeah. I don't know who that is, but I'm assuming Al Capone. I don't think it's Al Capone. Here's a game. Can you find Leonard Cohen's mural? God, this is quite warm here. Can you believe in the winter it turns minus 20, minus 30 degrees? Oh no, so much just fell. Out here is pretty awesome. There's dogs doing tricks. There's people proposing to their girlfriends and boyfriends. And it's not too cold. Wow, look at that. The chalet. We're all going to go inside the chalet. I actually believe it's pronounced chalet. Up at the lookout, you will also find the chalet, which is this huge building. It has a cafe. It's got spots for sitting if you brought your own food and toilets. It was built in 1931 as a make-work project during the Great Depression. Pretty cool. He spotted a cafe sign. I love this building. Yeah, it's beauty. It's so cool to actually be here. You know, you see people doing things on the internet and you think, oh, that can't be me, I can't be there. It's like, nope, that can be you. Yeah, it's one of the best sites in Montreal. Check it out. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh my God, he's just staring at us. The city views were beautiful. You know, it's always good to kind of get like an overview of a city. Enjoy your time on the mountain. It is a very well thought out public green space and makes Montreal extremely photographable and just enjoyable in general. When we first planned this trip, this is one of the things that I wanted to do. I don't think you can even appreciate this view through a camera. You have to see it with your own eyes. So many people here, it's, and it's a, it's a big place. That hill is bigger than you think. It is. <laughs> it takes a little, it's quite high and it's a lot of work. The view from here is absolutely undefeated, even though there are a lot of tourists around. It's pretty sick. It makes you feel like so small in such a huge world and this is just a city in Canada, I mean. But I feel lucky that I'm here. Yeah, I like mm. it at the same time. You're part of the universe. You like living in Canada? No, I, I live here with my wife. <laughs> <laughs>